So in this video, I wanted to talk about a society based on intellect, as opposed to a society based off of appearances, a society based off of social skills, or a society based off of men in power, or a society based off of women in power. And in a past video, I talked about the differences between a society based on men in power and a society based off of women in power. And in this video, I want to talk about a society based on intellect. And a society based on intellect probably will put lesser emphasis on social skills, lesser emphasis on appearance, and more emphasis on hobbies that display intellect or wit, like humor. And in this video, I want to talk about why we don't have a society based on intellect. And one reason why I don't think we have a society based on intellect is that when you think about what you would need from a population is that you would need most of the population to have a very firm education or a very like grounded basis on education. Whereas when you think about modern society, a huge percent of the population isn't educated. And because a huge percentage of the population isn't educated, it just wouldn't work out. Whereas if a society based off of appearance or social skills, it would work out just because, you know, Whereas a society based off of social skills is much more common just because we're sort of pack animals. And because we're sort of pack animals, it's sort of natural to learn to have to deal with other people. And a society based off of appearance also makes sense just because evolutionarily speaking, our sole purpose was to sort of procreate, have kids, and sort of fulfill the long-standing goal of moving the species forward and continuing the species. But Another reason why I don't think we have a society based on intellect is that I think it's harder to have the society function because a lot of the times when you have a society based on intellect, when you think about like college professors or researchers and stuff like that, they go highly specialized and they go super, super, super specialized to whatever it is that they're focusing on to the point of sort of ignoring or avoiding everything else outside of that narrow frame of vision. When you think about society, you need, you need people in power who basically can focus on a broad range of issues, not just like very, very in depth on one issue, but a broad range of issues. So then here's the question that I have for myself and that I've thought about myself. If I had a choice, what would I want my society to based off of? And I think if I had a choice, I wouldn't want my society based off of intellect and I wouldn't want my society based off of social prowess or social skills, and I wouldn't want a society based off of appearances. I'd want a blended society, and i want a society that would be well-rounded. I'd want a society filled of Renaissance men and Renaissance ladies, which is basically mean that everyone would be good at everything, which is very counter to modern society. And it's very counter to modern society because modern society is a very much a capitalist society where men and women are told to specialize from a very early age. And they're told they're only meant to be good at one thing. So either intellect or appearances or this or that or that or social skills. And because capitalist society told men and women to socialize or to specialize in one thing only, you get a very, you get a very different society than the, side, the kind of society I'd want society to be based off of. But the kind of society that I want society to be based off of would basically be a society where everyone became well-rounded. So everyone was good, everyone was smart, everyone was funny, everyone was talented in different sports, different arts, and a society where everyone was so well-rounded that no one specialized in any one thing even though they could. So that everyone was independent and self-sustained. And so that everyone's self-esteem would be based on so many different things. In a society where everyone specializes in one thing alone, you get a society where people place their entire their entire value or all of their eggs in one basket. And I've talked a little bit about this before in a previous video in terms of to specialize or to not and where to put your eggs in which basket. And I think if I had my ideal society, I'd have a society kind of like when Leonardo da Vinci was alive. Leonardo da Vinci was a genius. He was just straight up a genius and he could do so many different things in so many different fields. Whether it was anatomy, biology, engineering, math, physiology, everything botany, everything. He knew a little bit about everything, but he also knew a lot about the things that he knew about. So he was just a certified genius. He was awesome at it. And I think if I lived in my own, if I could choose a society, I'd make a society based off of being well-rounded. And I'd make a society based off of being well-rounded so that people would basically never need each other, but would want each other. And I think that distinction makes a huge difference because in our modern society, people need each other which is different than wanting each other. So I'll let you think about that and until next time.